Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today we're bringing us episode number 17 of Hot Roulette. And last episode, if you have not watched it, we ended off with a 8 game win streak, and we got a couple nice pickups as well. I won't spoil it for you guys here, but if you want to watch the last episode, you can definitely do that. But right now, we're trying to get to a 9th and 10th game win streak, and you guys know we can hopefully pick up a special card for every group of 5 uh, games that we win, so... Hopefully we can pick up a special card this episode. I don't want to jinx it right now, but right now you can see we are in Division 2. We're 5-0-0 in the season, and we're just about to hit Division uh, 1 very soon. So that will be happening very shortly. And I'm going to be going through the team before we start up some games. And uh, you guys can see how the team is looking, because we did make a couple changes here and there. And I think the team looks a lot better after uh, I made some changes. I really based it off of just who's been getting points, who's been producing, and this was what I was able to produce. So, first line is looking like Patrick Kane, Patrice Bergeron, and Rick Nash. The second line is looking like Gustav Nyquist, Tyler Johnson, James Neal. This is more of my scoring line, as well as my third line, Blake Wheeler, Brian Little, and Patrick Marlowe. I literally just moved up the whole fourth line up to the third because they have been doing so well, and I want to give them a better opportunity to score some more goals, as well as the fourth line, Wayne Simmons, David Krejci, and, and Daniel Sedin as well that we acquired last episode. So, pretty sick offensive lineups. We're going to go through the defense as well, and you can see the one notable change. We have taken out Kaka, and we put back in Jake Garner, giving us just a little bit more power defensively. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully we can win these next couple games here. So, let's get this game going. Let's see what we can do. All right, here we go, guys. First game of the episode. He's got Mike Medano, TJ Oshi, and Justin Abdelkader on his team. So let's get this game going. Let's see what we can do in this first game. Uh-oh, he's got a break. Come on, Goose. Get back. Nice save by Roberto Luongo. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit scary playing it out, but so far he has a pretty good team. I got to be careful just a little bit. And uh, we're going on the power play. Let's see if we can do anything with this chance. Yes, there it is. It goes right through the goalie. And I don't know how James Neal scored that, but he is an absolute monster when it comes to scoring goals. There it is. One to nothing in the first period. I'll take that any day. Oh, there it is. Mike Medano gets a nice little snipe on uh, Roberto Luongo. Post and in. And he ties it back up one to one. So... He's definitely got a lot of good players on his team. I mean, no one seems to be a, a below a 86 overall for him as well. So we got to step up our game a little bit d defensively. And uh, let's not lose up any more goals. Oh, the passing place. No, James Neal. He missed it by a little bit. Come on, see if we can get a second chance there. Oh, but that was a nice little passing play right there. Oh, what? How did that go in? I don't even know, but Blake Wheeler, he got a little opportunity right there, and he slap shots in, crossbar and in, and it's now 2-1. to one. What a nice little cheeky goal by, Bri or by uh, Blake Wheeler. I'll take that. Oh, no. I was going to go for the backhand. I thought he left the left side open, so I thought I would just shoot it there, but... Oh man, that was a really close opportunity, but so far, 2-1 to one in the first period. Let's take a look at the stats. 8-6 to six in shots, 2 minutes time on attack to 1 minute and 50 seconds. So, playing solid so far. Let's try to upkeep this lead here, boys. Oh, Jesus Christ. That could have been very, very bad right there. Delay penalty and the goalie leaves the net. Oh, that's a goal. There it is. Patrick Kane tucking that one in. Can't get any easier than that. 3-1. to one. And there you go. There's a point for Kane. Give him the break. There it is. Krejci. Uh, just rifle it right side. There it is. He's giving me that wide open shot. I think he's going to quit after that. And there it is. Nice quick win for us. 
and that is going to end off the game with a 4-1 to one victory, 14-6 to six in shots, 4 minutes and 29 seconds time on attack, 2 minutes and 6 seconds. Uh, can't see the 3 stars because he quit early, but we're going to go ahead and buy a 87.50 pack because we have won a 9 game win streak as well as buy that player. So I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so we'll start off with the 87.50 pack first and we'll see if we can get anything good. There's a lot of really sp good special cards, a lot of good team of the weeks. Can we get one of those guys in one of these packs? Let's see if we can get something. This one, oh, we got Eric Johnson. Not a bad player at all. I honestly might just replace him with Jake Gardner. Uh, I think it's about time that he left the team. He's not that good. Uh, we also got to change team Carolina. I'm not exactly sure we have any uh, Carolina players on our team so far. But what we'll do is send those guys to the collection. And we'll go ahead and buy that player now. And welcome back to the auction search page. You guys can see the collection type has been put onto players. The buy now minimum set to 9,000 coins. So we're going to be choosing the 14th player here. So let's see if we can get anything good. So the first one is going to be Malkin. So number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Gabriel Landeskog is going to be the next guy on our team. A pretty solid player, if I say so myself. So let's buy him out, see where he fits in. And just like that, guys, we're ready for game number two of this episode. Just going to quickly go through some of the changes we have done with the team. And you can see there, Tyler Johnson has been put with a Carolina change team on him. And he has a little bit of chemistry with Gustav Nyquist. So I'm looking forward to some great things with them. I put on Gabriel Landeskog onto the second line left wing spot. I know James Neal right now is very, very hot. But I want to give Gabriel Landeskog a chance to score some goals. See what he can do. Maybe he's a little bit better. Don't exactly know, but he's James Neal is now playing on the fourth line left wing with David Krejci and Wayne Simmons, as well as the third line right defend, defenseman pairing. Uh, we have put in Eric Johnson with Jack Johnson, so we got the Johnson pairings once again uh, for NHL 16. Uh, but we're going to get right into the second game here. Let's see if we can win this next game. I'll meet you guys in there. Here we go. Second game of the episode. He's got JVR Kadri. I think that's Leo Komarov on his right wing. So definitely a very interesting Toronto team. Uh, so we're going to get this game going. Get laid out in the first uh, first little chance there. But let's see what we can do here, guys. Little's got another break. I don't know what's with this card. Oh, shoot it uh, sh uh, far side there. Reimer with a big glove save. Thought I could just snipe it there, but let's keep it up. Yes, there it is. Nice pass from Krejci down to Gabriel Landeskog. And what a debut goal right there. One to nothing. The cross crease once again beats him. Oh no, is he going to quit already? Wow. Wow, already there is the next win of the episode and that means we have won 10 games in a row. I might just bring a third game. That's not enough uh, content to even give you guys. But right now, we got five shots on net. We're going to go ahead and go back on random.org and uh, we're going to be choosing that special card. So I'll meet you guys there. All right, so it's pretty crazy. 10 game win streak right now. Gotta be pretty happy about that for sure. So right now we're going to be edit putting this list into random.org and uh, we're going to see what we get. Whatever's at the top is what we're going to choose and hopefully we can uh, get some luck here uh, for our pickup. So let's randomize and it's going to be milestone card. So I'll meet you guys back at NHL and we're going to be choosing the fifth milestone card. So I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, so everything is ready to go. Collection type has been put onto milestone. Buy now minimum range. 10,000. We're going to see if we can get anything good. I have a pretty good feeling. So the fifth milestone card is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Anti Niemi, a new goalie for our team. Uh, that's going to definitely give a little bit of competition for Roberto Luongo, but we're going to buy out Anti Niemi, see where he fits in. Alrighty, guys, so we're going to be playing one more game. 
I didn't feel like there was enough uh, commentary in this episode. And since we're so close to Division 2 and it's almost Christmas, I'm going to bring you guys another game. That's a horrible present for you guys, but whatever. Patrick Kane, I decided, uh, I totally forgot as well. Uh, we got a shuttle last game, which means we can put on a change team or change position on any player. And I decided to throw on a Boston change team onto Patrick Kane. I know it's a little bit weird, but I want him to have a little bit of chemistry with Patrice Bergeron. And we're going to see if he can score some more goals for us in the future. As well as uh, I put in Anti Niemi. We're going to give him the debut for this game. And we're going to see if we can get him another shutout. And uh, we'll see what happens. So let's get this next game going. Let's hopefully win this next game and win the division title. Alright, so the final game of the episode, and I cannot see any of the names on those jerseys. It's one of the glitched jerseys in this game, so we're going to see if we can get this game going. Very interesting, I don't know. Can't see any of his players, so I don't exactly know how to plan out my strategies here. Oh, Simmons gets a break. Go, go, go. Oh, the, oh, that's got to be a penalty. What a goal. Wayne Simmons gets tripped up, and then he does a backhand and still scores that goal. Oh, man, what a goal by Wayne Simmons. Got to watch that once more. Come on. Gets a tripping penalty. That should have been a penalty shot and roofs it on the left side. I mean, I think we already had the goalie beat with that speed, but Wayne Simmons, what a goal. Come on, that's got to go in, Kane. Nice little chance there. Come on. Oh, we're just rifle the left side. Okay, Nash, pick up the puck. See if we can generate one more chance here. No, he can't. All right, and just like that, we're heading into the second period, and that is the start I'm talking about. 9-1 to one in shots, 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Time on attack to 2 minutes and 19 seconds. Just cannot get too cocky here. We need a couple more goals here to secure this lead, and... uh Come on, we got to get this division title right now. That's how you do it. Patrick Marlowe scores that goal, but nice little setup by Blake Wheeler. And just like that, we're up two to nothing. I don't even know who his goalie is, but there it is. Assist from Jack Johnson and Blake Wheeler. That's a pretty nice goal for, to get. Oh no, that is too easy, and James Neal, I gotta stop with that celebration, I'm so used to it, but 3 to nothing. that is the lead I'm talking about. Oh, there it is, I thought I would fake him out with a little uh, stop and play with my defender, but he makes it 3-1, to one and he breaks the shutout. Oh man. There it is. Nice little passing play. And now we have made another three goal lead. I am messing up with this commentary. I don't even know. But uh, we ring it around the boards. Patrick Kane is right there. And there it is. That little connection. And Patrice Bergeron wires it in. That's what I'm talking about. We don't need to watch the replay there. But 4-1 to one now in the second period. That's pretty nice. There it is. Another goal. And Gustav Nyquist far side and we make it five to one we are running away with this game just too much space in the hash marks i'm able to just slap shot it right there five to one and just like that we have won another game and we have won the division two title flawlessly that is what i am talking about so let's take a look at the amount of shots we get and uh we'll go ahead and pick up that final player there it is, one Division II title. Let's take a look at the stats here. 23 to 9 in shots, 7 minutes and 52 seconds time on attack to 6 minutes and 36 seconds. So we played a very, very solid game for sure. And let's take also a look at the three stars. James Neal with the first star, Ryan Kessler for his team gets the second, and Wayne Simmons get the, gets the third. So definitely props to this guy. He uh, waited out the whole game. He didn't uh, rage quit like the other two players that I faced. So 
We're going to go ahead and choose the 23rd player. Raise that buy now minimum to 11k. So I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, so let's see what we get heading into Division 1. Hopefully we can get pull a good player for our team. So let's go ahead. Buy now minimum has already been set to 11k. Collection type has been put onto players. So the 23rd player is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Logan Couture is going to be the next pickup, an 87 overall player. He's got some pretty nice stats, 88 skating, 87 shot, and 89 hands. So we're going to buy him out and see where he fits on the team. Alright, and that is pretty much going to end off this episode for episode number 17 of Hot Roulette. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, we did put in Logan Couture into the fourth line center spot. I know there's not many places to put him, but at least he has a little bit of chemistry with James Neal. And the team is just working together. I mean, two rage quits and a win 5-1 to one to win this Division 2 flawlessly. You cannot complain at all. So, if you guys did enjoy this episode, leave it a like. If you guys didn't enjoy it, uh, leave it a dislike and let me know how I can keep improving on these episodes. I definitely appreciate all that support. So anyways, that's about it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Hut Roulette. See you guys later. Oh, there's a break. Go little, go little. You got the break, you got the break. Try to skate in a straight line. The backhand forehand, and it goes through the five hole. Yes. Nice early goal lead. Another short-handed goal, and we beat Dudenick on the play.